somehow it's already October. I don't think I've made a video in about 10 months and we're gonna fix it today. So I'm gonna go over everything that we've done since that last video, which is a lot, so this might take a little bit. And then I'm gonna show you the current projects of what we're working on and I think you're gonna be surprised. So we are standing in the living room, which has been finished for some time now and got that floor down. I think this was the last video you saw was working on the floor but got the floor down, trim up, you know, painted, we got blinds, all that. Living room is done. Kitchen, not done yet. We're still working on it. This looks a little bit different than the last time you saw it. We added these two cabinets to give some more space and shift this doorway over a little bit. And then the island definitely got painted since the last video. I don't even remember if it was in. So kitchen coming along still have you know obviously i gotta make the countertop still which i have started on so i'll show you guys a sneak peek i'm gonna do this one first which i i'm working on right now it's it's actually already glued up so moving along the bathroom i believe was pretty well done when you guys saw it obviously we actually bought a shower curtain last night just to kind of put some color in here so That'll go up, but this is pretty much the same as it has been. This bedroom, however, is a mess, kind of, but this was not done in the last video. We hadn't even started it or thought about it, but redid the sheetrock in here, put down the same flooring as the living room, and then the closet, I put the a bigger door in so that you can pretty well access all of the closet. There's a little bit left over, but it's good. Another new development in our life is one of our friends moved in with us and she's staying in here because we do have a secret. So um, this is her room, pretty much the same. I did redo it again off, off camera. So all those first videos has been redone. The sheetrock's been redone. We put down the flooring to match the living room, repainted, all that. So that is nice now for the big surprise is this house was two bedroom when we moved in when we bought it and it is a three bedroom house now so i'm gonna kind of turn on some lights this is the side door that goes out to the garage and what we've done is we moved the washer and dryer in here this is gonna be a little entryway with a bench and like a coat hook, and then we're gonna put a desk right there. And then this is gonna be Katie and I's room. So it's about the same size as that first bedroom, but it has an attached bathroom and a walk-in closet. So we're super excited to get this finished this room is actually very close the tile is done grouted we just need to clean it and then we're going to get a new door there and then i'll finish up this trim and paint that and we should be good to go i think we're going to put some cabinets up here but really the main part left is to grout in here finish the bathroom and then trim and the inside of the house will be done so that is basically the updates that I have for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll answer them in a future video. One more thing that has changed since the last video is we caught a puppy. This is Ella. Say hi, baby. She's about seven months old now and we got her when she was six weeks. So we've had her for, you know, six months or so. And she's still a little rambunctious sucker. This is gonna be the countertop for that little cabinet next to the stove that we added this is half of it the other half is over here on that bench um but yeah i've gotten half of it glued up and then i'll run that through the planer sand it down glue up the other half and attach them together so again this is hard maple which i bought in kansas city and i bought it um long after the last video but I've got all the rest of it piled up over here and I've gotten it all cut into little strips so that I can mill them to square and then glue them up and so so far I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out the top side looks really good and I think once I 
get it sanded and uh, finished, it'll look pretty nice. This one, yeah, this one has one coat of the oil that we're using. So it basically, there's not gonna be a finish on top. It's called finish by saturation. And so we're just gonna fill it with some oil and then you can put water, you know, if water gets on it, the wood is already saturated so it can't absorb anything else. So should be good. You can see how it's, it started absorbing all the way down. And so eventually the whole board will be full of this oil. Another addition I got in the garage, probably in February, is a lift. So this can, obviously I've got the mower on the trailer and then I lifted that up to save the floor space, but it's been so handy to work on cars and just all around, lift the mower up to change the blades, anything. So that is awesome. The garage is much more free than it was and we still have a lot of stuff from the house in here. So hopefully in the next few weeks I can finish the inside and then get all this stuff out of here. I just got back from the store with the cabinets, so I'm gonna go ahead and screw these, glue them together, cut the biscuits, put them all together, let that dry, and then I'll get back to working on the countertops. Got some cabinets mounted just need to prime and paint them and then prime and paint the doors get those all put on i do have a lot of painting to do all this trim still needs to be painted the windows need another coat and then i can get some blinds for those good morning puppy do you love your food what do you do now you sit. Good girl. I've got the primer out, but I realized I don't have any brushes that are throwaway. Ella loves going to Home Depot though, so she's gonna come with me. I spent the morning priming the cabinets in the laundry room and I got the doors all done. And then little Missy decided to knock this table over and all of them fell. And so they all have some scuffs on them that I need to sand out. But this one, the centerpiece cracked and it was very noticeable, I mean, big crack. So I've spent the last, I don't know, while tearing out the old centerpiece chiseling out the channel and then I just glued this piece in. So unfortunately it's a little bit thicker than the old one. So I'm probably gonna have to just run it through the planer to make it thin again, but it'll work. Also, this stuff doesn't need to be primed before you paint it. So I can just paint all this and we should be good. But the inside, is primed and then we also went to home depot and picked up a new door for the side the door that we're going to get for the front is very similar but it is wood 
and it has a little decorative piece here. So this one will match pretty well. We're gonna paint it a dark gray color, which we also bought. And I will do that later in this video. I'll install this door, get it all painted and everything. There's the first coat for the door, pretty splotchy. So definitely gonna need another coat, maybe two more. I don't know, we'll see. Well, it's Sunday morning now for church and I put two coats on the door last night. So we're gonna go check it out. This is what Ella did to that cabinet door, but got that glued in, should be good to go today. Here's the door. Definitely gonna need another coat. Hopefully just one, maybe more. You can see in here it needs more. So that's what I'm gonna do. Probably needs another coat up in there too. So third coat it is, maybe fourth coat, we'll see. But I'm liking the color. I think it's gonna look really good on the house. I got the third coat on and it's, it's coated fine, but I don't know why, I just really am not very good at painting, but you can see like the brush strokes versus the roller, and I don't know how people are able to blend those so well, but it'll do, and maybe someday, well, probably not. I did put a coat on all of the doors, and like you can tell that this was the one I fixed, but after a couple more coats, you probably won't be able to tell, so. Um, those are done. I got coats on all the trim up inside this room and the cabinets and I've started taking this door apart. So I'm going to finish removing this frame and then I imagine there's going to be a lot of rot under there. So I'll replace everything there and then I'll put a sill sealer on. So if water gets in there, it'll just come right out. Well, this is the old door, as you can tell, super dirty, just pretty disgusting in general. And this is the new door. So. We both really like it and it just opens so much easier and it actually shuts on its own. You don't have to push it shut. So yeah, and the gap is even all the way around. So the seal's nice. We could see light through multiple spots in it before. So anyways, still gotta paint the inside but we don't have the paint for that and our Home Depot doesn't sell it. So. That will come another day, but I just wanted to get this done because I can't do the rest of the trim in that room until the door was in. Just wanted to show you, I got the cabinet doors painted, finally put up, got the handles put on, and then I also went ahead and hung some blinds on the three windows in here. Say hi, Ella. <laughs> also, the door, these two doors are missing because I'm painting them. No, I set up a little paint booth in here and I got a paint sprayer. So I hung the doors from the, uh, from the trusses and then I sprayed all the sides. It actually made quite a bit more mess than I thought it would, but the, the finish on it is way better than when I rolled the other doors. I just wanted to show you this because Gray Co True Coat 360. You just pour the paint in here. I didn't have to dilute it at all. And then you kind of squeeze the air out and this is the, it lets the air out. And then you plug it in and, and go to work. And from what I can tell, it, it looks really good. And if you remember, probably one of the very first vlogs on this channel, we tried to paint the trim in the first bedroom with a paint sprayer that was a Wagner and it was just absolutely horrible. So um, this one was like under a hundred dollars. It was, it was way cheaper than the Wagner that we tried and it is super smooth. I mean, definitely needs another coat, but yeah, I would, I would recommend it. I'm going to paint all the trim in here before I put it up and then I'll just fill the nail holes. So yeah, last parts I need to do for sure is the trim along the door and along the baseboard. And then I'm gonna build a desk, an L-shaped desk that comes, it's gonna come out eight foot, which we measured and it would leave enough of an opening there. It was like a 40 inch opening. So we felt like that was enough to 
not feel claustrophobic getting into that room. So it's gonna come out to like right there, L-shaped, and then I will build that. I'll make a video just about that. And then this cord is just running in here because our internet is all on that shelf. So that'll go away once the internet's on the desk. And then eventually we're gonna get front loaders and build a top that matches the desk over it. So that should look good, but Ella, you're ruining the audio. She says, but I'm cute, dad. Anyways, with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. So hope you are glad to see an update on the house and an update on the puppy. Say bye. She just wants to bite me. <laughs>